Hello everybody, here is my final review of Olympus FZX12 with a variety of objectives. I have got Nikon's ED Plan uh, 0.5x objective with working distance of 150 millimeters. Technically, it goes to be 154 even. Hmm. It happens. Another objective I have prepared for you is Nikon's ED Plan 0.61x with working distance of uh, 117 millimeters. Second, next is Olympus DFP PL Apo 1XPF. It's a base objective, it is corrected one, and it has uh, 82, uh, uh, 72 millimeters working distance. And last one is still not uh, adjusted but when one channel works well and another uh, not good so but we can could still see how it works olympus df plan 1.5 x objective with working distance of 45 millimeters or something like that and we will try to see a field of view of you using uh, apple apple's uh, iphone 7 s motherboard our apple's a uh, 13 processor and Intel's i386 uh, processor to see how things work. <laughs> this Olympus trinocular head has unique option with possibilities of turning its how to say i parts not only down words but as well uh, upwards too it's pretty easy for me it makes me much more easier to uh, attach different eye pieces to get proper scales for you i have two eye pieces attached one of them is famous olympus vhsz 10x it's a regular eye piece for this kind of microscope and another eye piece is VHSZ 30X with a field of 7 millimeters. This eyepiece is only is also uh, supposed to be used of on microscope of this kind. And I will uh, make videos through it or photos to give you a real resolution of microscope, that microscope gives us. As I already said, this uh, microscope head has uh, iris dial that let us when we use minimum uh, magnification to make a uh, field of view deeper but resolution gets lower definitely but still if you're using uh, minimal magnification uh, the sharpness would be acceptable but you you'll have a much uh, more depth of view uh, if you're using, if you're uh, going in magnification to the center or upper, you will obviously see that real resolution is getting dr drastically low with using this diaphragm, with using this iris. So I'll show it to you. So let's start with our first installed Nikon uh, 0.5 objective with our 153 millimeters working distance <coughs> and to do it I need to attach my fiber optical ring light here and as you might be have known uh, when we use fiber optic ring lights we can lift it over the lower edge of the objective so it gives us a bit more space for proper work because usually these real lights take a lot of space for your instruments so let's look let's start looking uh, at the field of view first I've got a ruler for you and 
let's just see how things work. <coughs> when we use a minimum magnification on the scope, uh, Nikon's objective I use here uh, has a little, uh, how to say little, it has a covering of part of field because it is not properly set for this kind of microscope. So when we use minimum magnification, we see part of right part of uh, field of view is a bit darkened. Now let me see here. And uh, but when we and, and field of view, visible field of view, is kind of 66 millimeters here. When we make magnification a bit bigger, after 8 in our scale, the field of view uh, is less a bit. Technically, it goes to be 63 millimeters, but uh, the vignetting uh, effect is uh, getting eliminated. If you move to magnification of 10, this magnetic vignetting effect is totally destroyed. So let's see field of view when we use 10 is only uh, 51 millimeter as it should be. So Why is that? Because we have our 22 millimeters of eyepieces and we have 0 0.5 objectives. So technically we have to have now uh, 44 millimeters. But for some reason, don't know what, we have 50 millimeters. To be frank, it's a bit strange, but what can we do? So let's move to our magnification. Field of view with this objective gets to be, let me count. has to be five and half millimeters and let's see on the stuff not on a ruler in our case we are taking the motherboard of our iPhone 7s or something like that and let's see <coughs> how it works as I said if we turn to 10x magnification technically it's only five all field is not vignetted and if we just look at the sharpness over the space you'll see that all over all the space sharpness is pretty nice so let's make magnification a bit higher now we reach it 30 technically it means 50, 16 now we reached 63 technically 30 Two, and we now have to find where to focus because depth of field gets a little a bit narrow as it should so let's move farther now we have our 19 technically is 45 and we can see that within the frame all parts of the frame are pretty sharp as they should. So let me make a little photo of this and let's get ah now let's check how iris works. Now I am closing iris a bit. Let's see. So far on the phone I don't see any difference. Only when I totally closed uh, the iris I can see the sharpness got lost. But technically if you use proper eyepiece will see obvious degradation after even a bit closing of iris. Okay, let's now take a look on our iPhone's A13 processor. Again, let me find my favorite spot here. 
over here and 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 I need to set fault use for proper value and here's my spot with but I will continue showing you all the time and you can see that not much seen but let's switch to the eyepiece with 30 times of magnification instead of 10 here now we can see a real resolution of our microscope and objective it's my well known spot here we see not much and now look I'm closing the iris close it on half you can obviously see that sharpness get worse it's closed totally and you can see that along to the a lot of dust easily seen now we can see that instead of sharp points on a processor surface we see huge light blobs now look I'm this decreasing iris opening the microscope and now we see resolution returns back okay so we've checked our oh, let, 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 let me make photos for you okay I need to make some photos here for you and those photos will be seen in a group on a group okay so these are photos of real resolution rubber I should fell down not good rubber I should let me make now photo of the same place with 10 X eyepiece okay so this objective uh, ED plan 0.5 x is pretty uh, convenient for uh, over overview overviews or fixing might be something large like uh, notebook motherboards but somebody sometime when you are when you use when you need to have a huge field of view it might be useful even on mobile uh, motherboard now let me switch to our next pretendant Contestant Nikon ED Plan 0.75x objective. Wait a moment, I need to switch objectives now.